Hi, this is Tom and welcome back to my Crane Model Build channel. I've just completed the design and fabrication of a 112 scale replication of a Hendrix 3 cubic yard dragline bucket and fair lead for my Model 112 scale P&H crane. I thought I would share with you the various aspects of the project including my research into the crane's rated dragline capacity the selected bucket specifications, the design of the model bucket, and the model's unique dragline fairlead assembly. Here is the specification sheet for the P&H Model 1015's dragline bucket size capacities that I obtained from a contact I have with Komatsu Limited, who purchased P&H mining equipment in 2017 from Joy Global. Note that the largest specified dragline bucket size for this model crane was three cubic yards. While the Hendrix Manufacturing Company specialized in making dragline buckets, it is no longer in business. I was able, however, to find a PDF copy of their 1991 reprinted dragline bucket catalog that included a specification chart on the various sizes, capacities, and dimensions of the four bucket styles that they had offered. I used the dimensions from the blue arrowed three cubic yard column to design my LS style bucket replication. Note also that the actual weight of the full size LS style three cubic yard bucket was specified at 4,575 pounds. Let me now share with you some of the details of the scale model dragline bucket that I created starting with the model's bucket weight. As previously noted, the actual full-size bucket with fittings weighed in at 4,575 pounds. I had intentionally designed my scale model bucket to be made from 1 8 3 16 and quarter inch thick hot rolled steel components in order to provide enough model bucket weight to enable a scale looking engagement of the earth when operated. Little did I know that the scale model bucket I ended up making would actually be of a scaled up weight that was within three tenths of a percent of the full size bucket or 4,562 pounds. A scale model weight is a function of its volume, so a 112 scale model's full size scaled equivalent weight is determined by multiplying the model's weight by the cube of 12 or 1728. Let me confirm for you the model bucket's weight. So there you see the model bucket's weight comes in at 2.64 pounds. When multiplied by 1728, that comes up with 4,562 pounds. Taking the dimensions of the three cubic yard LS style bucket from the Hendrix specification chart, I developed this B size sketch number 450, which is a full size two view layout and assembly drawing of the bucket, side plates, four bucket teeth, arch, and attaching hardware. From the two view layout drawing of the dragline bucket, I then created this bucket body fold out drawing that specifies the cutout and hole drilling dimensions of the bucket body in the flat. The bucket's body was made from a sheet of 11 gauge hot roll steel, similar to the sheet shown below the bucket. While in the flat, I machined all of the holes and countersinks and the rear panel I machined down to a thickness of 1 16th of an inch, enabling me to round it to a 2 inch radius. Similarly, I used a 1 8 inch 4 flute end mill to machine a 1 16th deep groove down the right and left hand panel fold lines, again to enable an easier and more predictable fold up of the side panels. After folding up the side and curved rear panels, the left and rear right seams 
were TIG welded, producing a somewhat to scale weld appearance. The left and right side plates were, were machined from quarter inch hot rolled bar stock. And I went ahead and added the em embossing of Hendrix 3 to the top of each of the side plates. The bucket's four teeth were machined from 5 16 square cold rolled steel bar stock. The arch was machined from 3 16 of an inch thick hot rolled steel bar stock and then heated and bent around the OD of a short length of 3.5 inch schedule 40 pipe. Each of the various components were drilled and tapped for attachment to the bucket body with countersunk 440 flathead cap screws. The drag link, the lip link, and the dump link were each machined from 3 8 inch diameter aluminum rod, each having a hidden knot compartment in order to appear more like a cable wedge socket. The dump block was designed as a standoff scale based on downloaded photos and is comprised of aluminum center and side plates with a blast brass shiv that rotates on a 1 8 inch diameter ball bearing. The chains, clevises, and clevis mounts that I used are from a 1 10 scale Anadu trailer safety chain kit that I purchased online. The drag line fair lead serves to guide the return of the horizontal drag line to the reeling drag line drum. The Fairlead style I chose to replicate for this model has two forward and two aft vertical stainless steel pin rollers to provide horizontal line guidance and an upper and lower horizontal shivs to provide vertical drag line guidance. I also designed the Fairlead assembly to be rotated upwards about this pivot point against two torsional springs, thereby tripping a model power shutdown switch should the drag and hoist lines ever become involved in a tightening tug of war. Now let me demonstrate how the Fairlead safety switch override system works in the same manner that the high boom safety switch system works. You can see, similar to the high boom safety switch system, the drag line fair lead override switch triggers the light indicating that the system has to be reset, the same as when the boom is pulled too high. Here's a close up view of the fair lead safety switch being tripped and then released. Thanks for watching again and please click on the subscribe button.